Good morning. I hope everybody's doing good. We're about to start with our Shiva yoga flow and um, it's going to be a fun, challenging level two to three, probably level three class. You can definitely do it if you're an intermediate, um, if you're an intermediate student, but there are some, there's a couple of arm balances. So do Eka Pada Kuniyanasana A um, during a vinyasa. And we're also going to work on Shiva pose at the end. But Shiva pose is something that looks really hard, but it's actually pretty attainable. So if you can do compass pose, you could definitely do Shiva pose. And if you can't do it, you can just be another kind of advanced student and just skip that pose. So let's come into half lotus. So bringing one of your knees over up into your thigh crease, or you can do full lotus in honor of Shiva. And Shiva, let's close our eyes. Shiva is the ultimate yoga teacher. And um, the story goes that he taught all of the sages yoga and that he knew 8 million 400, 200,000 something, a lot of yoga poses. And um, I never have done Shiva pose before during a yoga class and I learned about it and um, I thought that was pretty cool. And so I wanted to give it to you and see if we can do it together. So let's just close our eyes. If you feel comfortable, just notice where you are. If you wanna go back to Sukhasana with your legs crossed, that's totally fine. Breathing in and out through the nose. The mantra associated with Shiva is Om. So we're going to inhale and exhale to one Om. Breathe in through your nose with me. And gently open up the eyes. Good. And carefully moving one foot out of the way, come out. All right, let's go to our mat. I'm going to let Frank out. I think he wants to. Well, no, buddy, you're going to have to hang out over there. Go in there. It's okay. All right, so let's come to our mat and we're just going to do a quick warm up. We're going to warm up starting off in down dog. So come into down dog. Good. And go ahead and pedal out your dog. If it's your first dog for the day, we're going to start with our Chaturanga Vinyasa challenge. So roll forward as you inhale, bring your heels forward, exhale, lower down, Chaturanga. Inhale, flat dog, upward facing dog. And then roll back, exhale. Go ahead and move through your own, using your own breath. Inhaling forward, exhaling lower down, inhaling up, exhale, press back. And one more. Inhale, roll forward, exhale, lower down, inhale, upward facing. And if you've been doing it all week, you probably have noticed a big change. Inhale your right leg up. Exhale, bring your right knee down onto the ground, lift your left leg up, reach back with your right hand, and then just open up. You can hold onto the outside edge of your foot. Lifting, good. Release carefully, bring your left leg over to the side, reach your right hand forward. Inhale, your left hand comes up. Exhale, thread the needle. I noticed that doing the challenge, my chaturangas and flow have gotten a lot stronger. So I encourage you to take it up. Three vinyasas in the morning, lunch, and dinner. Press up carefully. Beautiful. Swing your 
right leg back, bring your, or your left leg back, bring your right knee in, exhale, press back into another down dog. Good. Let's roll forward again, clear the slate, exhale, down, inhale, up, exhale, drawing the navel in towards the spine. Inhale, the left leg goes up, three-legged dog. Exhale, knee in towards the nose. Lift up really high onto your right toes. Lower the left knee down. Good. Inhale, lift the right leg up. Left hand goes up. Reach back. See if you can hold on to the outer edge of your foot. And then kick, opening up the shoulder. Good. Release. Swing your leg over to the right. Bring your left hand forward. Make sure that your lower back is flat. Inhale, the right hand comes up. Exhale, throw the needle. Beautiful. Roll up. Hands on the mat. Bring your right leg back. Press back into your down dog. Lovely. Inhale the right leg up. Exhale, knee in towards your nose. Bring your right knees down. Swing the right foot out to the right side. Lift up your left hand and then exhale, just reach over. Really plugging your right hand down into the mat, lifting up through the side body. Good. Come back through. Sit onto your right heel. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, just extend over. Nice. Come through center. Bring the right foot in. Bring the right knee in. Exhale, press back into down dog. Make sure that you're pressing in through your fingertips knuckles driving through the thumbs inhale the left leg comes up lift up high onto the right toes as you exhale bring the knee in towards the nose stay here one inhale and one exhale and then lower your left foot down inhale your right hand comes up press your palm flat into the mat exhale reach over Beautiful. Good. Reach forward, sit back onto your left heel. Inhale, lift your arms up. Exhale, reach over to your right leg. So we're gonna open up our side body a lot. Quads are going to get strong, hamstrings are going to get strong. And remember, take modifications or just skip the pose or hold the last pose if you just want to try stuff out. Good. Bring your knee in towards your nose. Exhale, press back, down dog. Roll forward as you inhale. This time, instead of lowering down, lift your tush, press back, just roll back. Good. Roll forward as you inhale, again, using the wave of the breath, lift, exhale, press back. Now move at your own breath, pace, maybe activate Ujjayi Pranayama. Good, now walk your hands or your feet to the top of your, your mat. Toes are together, heels are a little bit apart. Go ahead and bend your knees and shake your head. No for things that you don't need in your life. Yes for things that you do need in your life. Clasp your hands behind your back. Kali Mudra. Point your fingers are together, pointed. Thumbs are clasped, fingers are clasped. Good. Maybe you can activate your quadriceps. 
Lift your kneecaps, tilt your weight a little bit more onto your toes, release your fingers. Roll up one vertebrae at a time. Urva Hastasana. Exhale, hands come to your heart. I'm gonna move back just a little bit. Let's take it home at the top and then we'll be good. Bring your hands to your heart. Inhale through your nose. Remember your intention. Maybe your intention today is to be still, to be strong, to be calm. Shiva represents strength and stillness. If you imagine a tree, he's a root, the trunk, Shakti. And Shakti energy would be like the branches and flowers. Good. Inhale, bring your hand. Oh, let's do it. <laughs> um, inhale together. Exhale, one arm. Um. Beautiful. Inhale, lift your hands all the way up. And this time, just bring your left foot over and reach over. To the right. Nice. Inhale, center, reach back. Exhale, right foot over. And look over and down to your left. Beautiful. Inhale, center. Exhale, hands at your heart. Now, left hand is on top, right hand is under, left fingers, pointer and thumb are together. So at the wrist, it looks like this. It doesn't really matter. Inhale your right leg up, all the weight is on your left. Now just let your knee come forward and your foot is moving towards the left, but stay still. Stay here. Find your drishti. Engage your leg. Bring your breath with you. Good. Now bring your knee out over to the side, externally rotating. Flex your foot. Bring your knee down, point your toe, and then set up for airplane warrior three. Bring your hands at your heart. Bring the right hip down. Good. Inhale, reach your arms all the way up. Press at lunge. Back leg is really strong. Think. Perhaps your gaze comes up. Beautiful. Reach your hands back behind you. Kali Mudra, releasing the thumbs and the point your fingers. And as you exhale, lower your back knee down, top of the foot down, Anjaneyasana. Finding space between your ribs and the knee. Go as deep as you like. Maybe not as deep this time since it's the first one. Good. Release your hands up. Exhale, bring your right hand down. Flip the palm so the left hand is facing out. Reach back. Or your left foot, if you can find it, or stay there, reaching back. Flex the toes, press into the hands, and open up, opening up for the shoulder. Keep drawing the right knee in. Don't let it splay out. You're doing something different this time. Good. Release the foot carefully down. Nice. Frame the Left foot, bring your knee up, bring your knee in. Beautiful. And then roll onto the outer edge of your right foot. Opening up, side plank. Good. See if you can lift your knee in towards your armpit and reach. Pressing into the right big toe. Carefully look at the top of the mat. See if you could draw your right knee in towards your chest and set your left foot down. 
Good. Inhale, your hands come up. Right foot goes flat. Exhale, reach behind you. Beautiful. Lift up. Try to press into your left foot and lift into your warrior three. Bring the right hip down. Coming back where we started. Inhale, right hand is under, left is on top. Exhale. Keep a dancing pose. Beautiful. Inhale to chair. Really spike your heel into the ground. Flex through the foot. Exhale. Moving to chair. Inhale. Lift all the way up. Exhale. Forward fold. Inhale. Flat back. Exhale. Fold. Plant the hands. Hop.